A doctor walks in with bad news and good. The bad news? You have a fatal disease. The good news? There is a cure. A treatment that is 100% effective. All you have to do is accept it. What would you choose? Every day, millions of people say no to the cure. They choose to live with the disease, or they choose to believe it doesn't exist. And the symptoms are everywhere. Depression, broken families, greed, selfishness, corruption, escalating violence and hate toward one another, murder, terrorism, abuse. What is this condition that affects us all? What is this sickness or disease we cannot shake? It's called sin, and we're all born with it. We do what we want to do. We do what's best for us. We do what feels good. It comes naturally to all of us, and it stains us. It opens up a great divide between us and our Creator, because it's not how we were created to live. We were designed by God for more, to be part of something bigger than just these temporary lives, to know our Creator as Father, to follow Him, and to live for Him. More than anything, He desires a personal, one-on-one -on -one relationship with you. But it's impossible. Our sin and His perfection are incompatible. We may try to have our good deeds outweigh our bad, but they can never get us closer to a perfect God. That is why Jesus came to us. God sent His Son not as a king or a mighty warrior, but as a baby, born in a stable, born to die on the cross for our sins, to pay for our mistakes, our sins with His perfect blood. With His death, He bridged the great divide. The punishment that we deserved, He took upon Himself. With His resurrection, he conquered the grave. He made a way for us when there seemed to be no way. So how do we respond? Please make this your prayer. Say, God, I am a sinner, imperfect, messed up, going my own way. I trust today in the blood of Jesus to wash all my sins away. And I invite you into my life. I give you control. And I ask for your Holy Spirit to come and live inside of me. If you will say these words and mean it with all your heart, you will become a Christian today, right now, right where you are, and God will hear you. The cure is before you and your family. What will you 